Hi, I'm Robbie. I'm a freelance producer and a lecturer at Wichita University. I'm here to show and tell you about five key features of Listen Hub that has greatly impacted my daily workflow when working in the box. You can use Listen Hub as a desktop app or a plugin. But where it really comes into its own is when you use it with a mobile device, such as a tablet or in my case, an iPhone. You can either view it in portrait mode and the buttons are big and easy to see, or you can rotate to landscape to view it as you would on the desktop. The visuals that it supplies are clear and quick to navigate and it instantly responds. Key feature number two, managing speaker switching. As somebody who works out of a small room, desk space is a premium. And in my case, having hardware monitor switcher would definitely not work. Previously, for me to switch between my monitors, I would have to come out of the door, go to the console software that controls my Mark One Apollo quad. Here I'm able to select whichever monitors I wanted to listen through. But to add a complication to all of this, I use Sonarworks to apply room correction for my speakers. I have to go here as well to change the profile. This all takes about 10 seconds. Now 10 seconds might not sound like a long time, but when you're a being between speakers to get a different perspective of the audio, it really is. But Listen Hub takes care of all this because when it's set up, it becomes a digital monitor switcher. Simply select the outputs that correspond with the speakers. And in addition to this, you can apply plugins to the monitors too. In my case, I've added Sonarworks to each of the monitors with the relevant profiles, which means I now change both the monitors and profile with a push of a button, giving me the ability to instantly check mixes on different speakers. As a side note, using Listen Hub at system level now means I don't have Sonarworks in my sessions anymore. This eliminates any chances that things may get printed accidentally with the room correction software on it. The next couple of features found on Listen Hub can be found elsewhere on other great plugins such as Adapter Audio's Metric AB. However, the folk at Sonics recognize the importance of these tools when making critical listening decisions, but they've simplified them and only presented those which are most important and will be most beneficial to you as a mixer or producer. One of the biggest things when mixing is being able to reference your mix against commercially released music. But the problem is, is that these reference tracks are generally much louder because they are mastered. It means that there's a discrepancy in levels between your mix and your reference tracks. Listen Hub takes care of this by loudness level matching. This means you can now compare your mixes contextually against other music without being fooled by loudness. The best bit is that it's quick and easy to do. System is music from streaming platforms or music on the system. Main is your door mix and reference is an allocated output audio channel in the door that may contain a client's reference mix. All this can be easily switched by the app. One of the best functions of Listen Hub is the ability to isolate certain areas of the frequency spectrum particularly when trying to make critical decisions about the relationship between specific instrumentation. A common one is the relationship between kick drum and bass or low end synths. Many people struggle to know whether they've got that relationship right. You can choose to either totally isolate the frequency area or dim by up to 42 dB the non-selected areas in context and apply it to commercially released music to hear how it sounds on your speakers in the room. And then you can try and match your mix to this. Let's take a quick listen. I think you'll agree, it gives you greater confidence in what you're trying to achieve and increasing the chances that your mix will translate to other places. Finding ways to keep the perspective when mixing can be difficult at times, and I know I have certain processes that I do within the mix regularly. It is, however, important to change how you hear things in order to give you a fresh perspective. Listen Hub provides you with a couple of variations to change the listening perspective. The most common one is mono mixing and checking that your mix is mono compatible. When listening in mono, you get a greater sense of balance between instruments and their levels, as well as how that might translate through a Bluetooth speaker or radio. The one I like to use to shift my listening perspective is by swapping the left and right. By doing this, it can help me listen to the song differently and also how placement of instruments may feel in the opposite parts of the stereo field. You do have other options such as listening to the left or right side independently, as well as just the sides too. Anyway, I hope this gives you an insight as to the power of Listen Hub and what it can do for you. I certainly feel that Sonox has created something that we didn't know we even needed to accompany our DAWs until now. For more information, head over to www.sonox.com and look out for Listen Hub. Thanks for watching.